So, and, uh, again, in the United States right now, there's this whole thing uh, about the pipeline that's going through uh, uh, North Dakota, wherever it's going through. And that's a done deal already because, you know, the, <laughs> the corporate capitalists, you know, the runaway capitalists, they got to hide their money someplace. They figured this thing out. Anyway, uh, but now the, 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 uh, the um, First Nations, whatever they call them, indigenous I Indians, uh, they are marching, uh, watching them marching various other places. I think that's one of those movements that everybody can, should be able to get uh, behind. I was heartened when the uh, veterans uh, joined that movement because, as you know, uh, you know, it's interesting. The, uh, the the American Indians, you know, they had their little, they had their land, whatever have you, and then they kept on every time they found something, you know, riches, whatever, it is, be it you know, trees, maple syrup, bears, beavers, whatever it is, you know, the uh, exploiters, the um, the uh, Anglo racist white supremacists. Premise uh, system that they had, they came and just moved those uh, those Indians away, kept on moving away from those lands. And they departed someplace else. The famous one being the Trail of Tears, with that uh, that uh, was that uh, Andrew Jackson, one of those one of those presidents, you know, um, uh, uh, move move these move these folks. And every time they moved to someplace else, if they find something on their land, they would try to move the, the Indians away from them. And I guess uh, that was pipelines water, whatever it is. But remember they had uranium? They found uranium? Oh boy. Big, big problem. Uranium and them dead hills. But anyway, that uranium is made into weapons, you know, depleted uranium and all the rest of that stuff. What happens to soldiers, you know, they get dealt that kind of diseases. So, you know, sooner or later it's going to come back to haunt you. Let's put it that way. But the powers that be don't care because, you know, they get where they get. And, you know, so soldiers, young people are just far anyway. Uh, but there's this thing that's happening I just read uh, about, uh, I think it's, uh, this this article came out in the independent from, from the UK about uh, 2013, I think, or something like that. And it was about the, the, the Sun people, the, 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 the People that, uh, that you know, they call them the Bushmen, you know, the ones with the little thing in the arrows, and that's how they hunt. They still have their lifestyle to this day, and they're on reservations too. They exist in the Kalahari uh, uh, around uh, uh, northern Namibia, uh, Botswana, you know, like that. Uh, and uh, they discovered, you know, they're digging a borehole to give them water, you know, for their reservations. <laughs> Reservation. And they discover what they discover? Diamonds. Oh. Death knell right there. The first thing they did was they they sealed up that borehole so that the people couldn't get water because they want those people out of there so they can get the diamonds. This is Botswana. This is in, in, in league with the Botswana authorities. Let's put it that way. The soldiers, or whatever, is doing this stuff. Anyway, so I was thinking, you know, uh, uh, in the United States, you know, the government's not going to get behind, uh, you know, doing right by the the, the original people of, uh, of, you know, the topless people of that land. And uh, why isn't the, the but why isn't there some sort of hue and cry? Because the Sun people are, those are the first peoples in, in, in the Southern African region. In fact, there's, just, there's an organization called SADC, the Southern African um, I say Development Community. There's the word, community. You know, why isn't that, that 17 nation uh, community saying, hey, no, you can't do this to the original people and step in and say, no, you leave them diamonds alone. You just, sorry, too bad. We ain't moving no more. If those diamonds stay there. And if those people want to dig it out, they can dig it out without your big machineries and, and go into Antwerp or wherever it goes to, you know, for you to do, for you, for you put around your woman's neck, you know, something like that. Anyway, uh, so I was thinking that, but then I, I, these days, I'm thinking, always thinking, you know, black, <laughs> you know, black as in uh, uh, the folks that went through the Middle Passage. And there's this move, or there's a saying right now that's, that's sort of getting a little traction, called descendants of slaves, you know. It's a special status because, you know, you have all these immigrants, these so-called minorities coming in, and the things that, that, that black, black folks fought for, or those, those descendants of slaves fought for, they're poaching those things. They're jumping over those things, and, and, and the descendants of slaves are not getting those benefits that are, that, that are due them. You know, it's, it's, it's like, that's not just, you know. Uh, so anyway, so I was thinking that the way that, that uh, because I'm in academia, or doing academic work, you know, the way you do in academia, you, you, have, a, you have a thing, you, you build on what went before. So in other words, everybody goes to the Egyptians, but the Egyptians got that from someplace else in Africa, and then it came there, and, that, and then of course the, the Greeks steal from, from the whole build, I'll say build up, be nice, 
steel from the uh, f from the Egyptians, and then of course they codify everything and say, oh, this is this is a Western civilization, whatever have you. Um, and don't get me wrong, the Chinese do the same thing. The stuff comes to them, they they they, they hold on to it, and then they come and oh, this is this is Chinese, but this is a worldwide thing. So it doesn't belong to to, to any specific group. Some specific group may develop it, but it doesn't belong to specific group. I digress to that only to say, so I'm up here thinking descendant of slaves. Okay, but you know, that could be co-opted too. So my term is descendant of chattel slaves or descendant of chattel slavery. That would be capital D, capital small O, C, capital C, capital S, docs. So yeah, I'm a doc, you know, I'm, I'm a docs, a descendant of chattel slavery. And I deserve uh, a special compensation for all that my lineage has gone through. And uh, somebody, even uh, Yvette Cornell, suggested that, yeah, she wants a card, like a pink card that says, you know, descendant of slave. And I'm, and I'm going like, no, nah, I want, here's what I want. My card, uh, what I, cards I think the descendant of, of chattel slavery a slave should get is a, a, the first, the, 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 uh, the face of the card would be like a, Mauve, okay, well, I just like to say that word. Uh, stone, stone, stones are good. Stone on the front, on the back, have red, black, and green. Red for the, you know, blood, black for the, I don't want to say race, the culture, and uh, green for the, uh, for the land, for the vegetation of the land, for the, for the land. Red, black, and green, that's a black liberation flag. That's on, that's, that's on the back. On the front, you have a stone, like, like the stone, the, that whole, what's that Bible thing, or, or I get it from Boondocks, you know, the, 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 the song that said, you know, the, the stone that the mason refused and that kind of thing. Because, you know, black people in the United States, we're the cornerstones and stuff. So that, that would be that card. Now here's the interesting thing, still building on this. If you have that card, descendant of uh, chattel slavery, then that card should not only be good, put you in the head in, in all of the United States, but also, let's jump to Saturn. Let's jump to the African Union. African Union should have no borders, just one thing. They, and I heard some, and I won't get into that right now, another, another commentary on that. But one thing, so that, so that anybody in Africa, any of these nations, any citizen of any nation in Africa can move all around Africa without any, just like the United States, but you have different states, different, different countries in Africa can move all around. But also, for descendants of chattel slavery, that card also gives you basically dual citizenship with a continent, since we don't know where we came from exactly on the continent, but we can find out a region, like maybe West Africa, whatever it is, that, that should give us, we will automatically, we can now, that would be our reason, we can travel any place in Africa with that descendant of child slavery cause. So we're good in the United States, and now we have a, a, a country we can invest in, whatever we, we can do that. Now. Anyway, so that's my idea of uh, mine being me, T. On the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.